In this video we have function decomposition because <coughs> we're looking at this function as a composition and we have to f identify two functions that it could be broken into. So basically um, two different ways you can go about it. You can actually decompose this um, but you may not get one of the ones here or you could try composing each of these. So one um, decomposition that I see is I can see treating 1 over or sorry, the 1 plus x squared as my inside function. So g of x would be 1 plus x squared. So what that would leave for f of x, well, what f of x does is it takes g of x and uh, puts 4 over it. So f of x would be 4 over x. Composing those together would give me 4 over 1 plus x squared. Now we actually do have that as an option. Now let's talk about eliminating some of the other options. The problem with A is it's backwards. So A would have come out to be 1 plus 4 over x the quantity squared. So A doesn't work. B, you have 4 over 1 which is just 4, so there's really no way to put g of x in there, so the composition would have just been 4. So B can't work. C, if we put that in there, the only problem with c is that we'd end up with 4 over 1 minus x squared, but we need plus. If this had been a plus, c would have worked as well. So c doesn't work. And this one is similar to c except it's backwards. So this would have come out to be 4 over 1 minus x, the quantity squared. So I have some more uh, videos on function decomposition on my YouTube page if you want to check them out.